You're listening to Get Optimized, the only podcast dedicated to bringing you infinite amounts of clients using forgotten tactics from the grizzled veterans of marketing. Nate Kennedy is the owner of Optimized Assets, the number one hired agency for businesses that want to leverage digital marketing to scale client acquisition campaigns without scaling effort. Here's your host, Nate Kennedy. All right, welcome to Get Optimized. This is Nate Kennedy. I got to tell you, man, I'm excited about today. This is the very first Get Optimized podcast, but not the very first podcast I've done. So it's actually taken me three tries over the last four years to finally get you this podcast. Other ones that I did, the previous versions just didn't feel right when I was putting them together. The first one was just kind of another one of those interview podcasts where we bring on guests and talk about stuff and just there's a lot of stuff going out there. I wanted to be different. I wanted to provide you different information and value and put kind of my my expertise out there for you. So the second one wasn't really the right timing because we were talking about my family, my wife and I were talking about having another kid and uh, we were also moving across the country, moving from North Carolina where we spent 15 years growing our family to San Diego, California, where we're at now. But the third time is a charm. We now have Get Optimized, where I'm going to bring you my knowledge really gained from over a decade in the trenches of real life experiences from doing this entrepreneur thing every day. We'll get you into optimizing business, life, marketing, and lots of marketing. So overall today that I wanted to bring you what I think is one of the more important pieces of being in business, one of the more important pieces of growing a business and scaling a business. And that is the topic that we're going to cover today. It's kind of, it's not the sexiest topic by any means, but it is a topic that will have, if you get this optimized, will have the biggest impact on your business in regards to the revenue you generate, the size of the business you grow, and the things that you're able to do within the business, frankly. So what that is, is... You have a lot of people out there today. It's what's actually, you know what, it's what's going to help you separate yourself from others as well, because there's a lot of noise in the industry today, lots and lots of noise. There's everybody out there pounding their chest and saying, look at me, look at me, and very few of them. So when you listen to today's Get Optimized podcast, what this is going to help you do is really go ahead and get you ahead of them. This is what's going to allow you to stand out from the noise. This is what's going to allow you to build a strong following of people. This is what's going to allow you to really kind of just beat the competition and not sound like everybody else. Because here's the thing, being in this business as long as I have here is one thing that I know to be true. Very few people spend the amount of time that is required on what we talk about today to actually have a successful business. That's why you see people jumping from idea to idea to idea because they only like the idea and think it'll sell. They don't do the work behind the scenes to make that a viable business and a viable offer for other people. So what is it without further ado? What are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about how to create irresistible offers. So Most people will spend all their time on everything else. They spend irresistible offer requires you to go in and dive deep into kind of knowing how you help people, knowing the desires of the people that you can help so you can actually speak in their language and then delivering that result. So very few people spend the time on this and because they don't spend the time on this and that now that you're going to, it's going to help you really be different and scale your business. So what is it? There are three key ingredients. Let's get into it, you know, over how to create an irresistible offer quickly. Really, there's there's three key ingredients to become successful in your industry. Number one is you have to stop helping everyone. You got to know who you can help. So what happens so many times is when you build your business up, you really are, you know, your number one goal, generate sales when you launch your business. And when you launch your business and you don't quite get the perfect sale or you don't get revenue coming in the door right away, what I see a lot of people do is they start taking any sale and they start taking any client on board or any customer that they can. And what happens is it becomes a vicious cycle for that business. So here's the thing. Here's how you do it. Now, 
like I said, it may not be the easiest thing up front, but it will be, it's it's a long-term play, not a short-term play. And so many people in today's industry and business get into the short-term play. And it's all about fast money as opposed to building a long-term business. You don't want to be in the cycle of creating a new business every two years because you burn out or frankly, just don't deliver the results that you should. So here's how you do it. You got to remember when you're stop helping everyone is that you actually are delivering a specific result. So what do I mean by that? Delivering a specific result is something that allows, you know, the end result, right? So somebody, instead of a vague result of a specific result is just that it's something that, you know, at the end, after somebody hires you to work with them or somebody buys your product, you know where they're at. And then at the end, what's going to happen for them. So let's take a step back. So when we talk about stop helping everyone, you got to really kind of stop doing it all because that's the biggest mistake that uh, experts, coaches, consultants, product owners, you know, it's what they make. And the primary one reason that they fail is they become this really jack of all trades. And frankly, those jack of all trades never earn as much money as people who specialize in the one thing. So what does that mean? specializing in the one thing. And that's really your mastery, right? So if you focus on mastery, you focus on becoming the best at one thing. And that's the key to earning top dollars with your clients and your customers. The one thing is, is uh, there's a great book out there actually called The One Thing. And there's another book out there called Unique Ability. Those are two very good books if you wanted to go out and read more about how to drive this into your business. But, you know, your unique ability is something that you do really well. This is something that not that you do OK and get results. It's not something that you do really well, and don't like. It's something that you can do. It's some way that you can solve a problem. And you are in your zone of genius, your zone of genius, and you get excited about it, you get amped up about it, and you're able to really, really help people grow their business or whatever, whatever it may be that your, your product takes care of. So once you get this, and once you get that into your business, it's going to help you really stop chasing a bunch of suspects. Nothing worse than a bunch of suspects in your business, because at the end of the day, what you want are prospects, right? So you want to be able to stop chasing a bunch of suspects who all want kind of a special deal or service from you. And you want to start attracting the prospects. So once you figure this out and you start speaking the language of these people, and we'll talk a little bit about that, you start attracting prospects that are ready to tap into your mastery and are willing to pay you really whatever you want to charge to do it for them. So when you have the prospects that you know that you can help and the people that are coming in going, you know what? Yeah, I got that problem and I need some help with it. Those are the people that you want coming into your business. Not somebody who doesn't want to solve that problem that you can solve for them, but somebody who really needs it. So I want to talk real quick about a big myth about this. A big myth in today's industry is when you have, and the reason the offer is so important, but the reason most people don't focus on it is because they believe in this myth is they believe that you are only one funnel away from a million dollar business. And that is not the case. The funnel is just technology, the sales funnel, the system you put it in, whatever that may be. That's really just the technology. The truth of the matter is real pros, real masters, and people who have built large businesses such as ourselves and our, our business and our clients' businesses understand that you are one specific offer away. So if people don't understand what you do, all the technology and all the fancy funnel stuff is frankly just a waste of time. So you don't really need that. You don't need the funnel until you have an offer. You should be able to put an offer into your group of people and they should, if they respond to it, sweet. If they don't respond to it and you spend all your time, 90% of your time building a funnel for that offer that nobody wants, nobody responds to, you've just wasted your time. So technology doesn't make a difference. And this is coming from a guy who's a tech guy. So I'm a marketing guy who understands technology and the value of it. But at the same time, without the offer, none of it makes sense. So how do you really kind of dive in? So how do you know exactly how to get them results? And this is something that I think is ultra important for you to sit down and define. People talk about avatars. When you go in, you got an avatar, you, you want to start looking at demographics. You want to start looking at where they live, income frames, age groups, things they like, all that good stuff. 
So there's all kinds of avatar sheets out there. I think we even have one in our free giveaway for you where it's natekennedy.com forward slash free. I think we got one over there for you that you can use in our big packet of free stuff to help you in your business. But uh, with that said, really what it comes down to is what we like to call symptomatic solutions. This is where you find the pain that they're having and then you position your offer to solve it. And business really is that simple. If you are trying to build a, a business, all successful businesses that are lasting tend to end up solving a problem. And over time, as those businesses evolve, those problems evolve, and then the business shifts and the offer shifts. But if you can solve and come with a solution to solve people's pain, that's when you're going to have a very strong business and a very strong offer at that. So symptomatic solutions. And what are they? So symptoms for what I want to say are greater than problems because we all have problems. And what happens now when you start crafting your offer and you start creating an irresistible offer for your perfect clients, what happens is a lot of people just want to poke the bear. They really just want to poke the bear and say, here's your problem. And that works sometimes, but there's a step that you can take deeper that can have a better conversation, that can build your authority a little bit more, that can actually make their ears perk up in a crowded marketplace and go, yep, that's how I feel. So the people who don't take the time to do this are the ones who are always talking about problems. And you know, when you got a problem, last thing you want to do is like have someone point it out to you all the time. So what is one step farther that you can take the problem? All problems that we have have symptoms. So a problem of a business of a business owner who's not making enough money, a problem of a business owner who may not have enough leads coming in, a problem of a business owner who doesn't have a real sales system in place or automated sales process. So what's happening is they're obviously not making enough money. They have a roller coaster income. One month, they have a good month. The next month, they have a bad month. Maybe they have two bad months. They have another good month. So this becomes this roller coaster and they're not making enough money. So that's the problem. We know that problem and they don't need to be told time and time again, they have that problem. But the symptom of that is losing sleep. Are you not sleeping at night because your business, you're not sure if you're going to have leads in the morning? That's a, that may be a great example of a symptom, but not a very descriptive one because you can dive in deeper. The fastest way to scale your business is to get optimized. That's why Nate has pulled together his best resources to help you speed up the process. Go to www.natekennedy.com forward slash free to access them now. What are you waiting for? Go to www.natekennedy.com forward slash free right now and get optimized. So a symptom is losing sleep. A symptom is feeling ashamed to talk to their family because they're not producing and providing how they they know they should be. Those are symptoms. So what I would like for you to do is to a little exercise. So let's go through this. Write these down. Exercise if you're in a place to. If not, come back to this and, and do this exercise. If maybe you're in the gym listening to podcasts like I do, you always got to take that note and come back and redo this. But What I'd like you to do is I want you to go down and think of all the problems your customers have. Create three columns. You have problems, symptoms, solutions. Okay. So in the left column, you want to write down all the problems that your customers have. And then in the middle column, what you want to write out is you want to bullet out like all the different symptoms of that problem. And then Once those symptoms are solved and that problem is solved and you get rid of those symptoms, what's the result they're going to get? That's the third column. So you have three columns, column one, problems, column two, the symptoms of those problems, column three, the result they get when you solve that problem for them, right? That's the solution. So what you want to do is now what you have here is kind of a a graph of one, you have, well, obviously your solution is how they get that result. So with that, you now have the problems, the symptoms, and the result that they want. So there's a result they can get when your solution, your one thing, your unique ability helps them 
solve that. So write that down. And that's good. That's step one in really helping you start crafting an irresistible offer and being able to speak the language of what your perfect customers want. And I got to tell you, man, your ability to find the true wants and the needs of your clients, define it and provide the solution is your winning edge. Now, as simple as that exercise is, I just gave you, that is a one thing that when clients come in and hire us, we always take them through that one piece because they tend to have never done it. And it's amazing how eye-opening that can be and how your assumptions of things can also not pan out. When you actually see it on paper, your assumptions sometimes aren't actual fact of what's happening. Now, it's really cool when you have that sheet, when you have those symptoms, you have those problems and you have those results, you can start crafting messages that you can put out into the marketplace, into your marketplace to see who responds. So if you put that into your marketplace, let's say you're in a Facebook group that's got your perfect clients and at least you think it does, or maybe you know it does because you got your own group. You can start testing and posting these little snippets into the group to get feedback. And it'll tell you real, real quick what's the right offer and what's the right hook for you to use as you go forward in creating your irresistible offer. Now, the biggest thing, let's talk a little bit about the results and what I call the value bridge. So money flows to the person with the highest perceived value. Write that down. Money flows to the person with the highest perceived value. And another way of saying that is people pay to solve their problems, right? I guess pay more money to solve the bigger problems, but uh, money flows to the person with the highest perceived value. And another is like people pay for offers of perceived value as well. So if you have an offer of high perceived value because you're solving these symptoms, you're solving the biggest symptoms, the biggest problems that your clients have or potential customers have, you are obviously going to have a higher perceived value. So there is a gap. So there's the problem, which is A, we can call that good example. Um, a good buddy, Travis Sago, always talks about is you have Hell Island. Hell Island is over. This is where they're at. Hair on fire, problem happening, and they, they've got all the symptoms and issues that they need to solve. And then they have your solution, the results of your solution. That's Heaven Island. So over here on Heaven Island, there's a big gap. And the bigger that gap, the bigger the bridge, the bigger the value that there is perceived to go from one side, one island, to cross over to the other island and stop their hair from being on fire. The value that is perceived right there is the amount of money that you can charge a client. Usually there's a gap. They're willing, or I would say amount of money they're willing to invest And if you are the best and the expert in that space and you really focus on being the best and focus on getting that result and you really know who you can get that result for, that's going to allow you to obviously be the person that gets that investment because you are helping them get that result. So a big thing here is being understanding and knowing that you're delivering the results. So don't just have an idea on how someone could potentially do it. Go become a master. The more and more you do it, the more and more you study what it is that you help people and how it is you help people, the more time you invest in your knowledge and your education, the more time that you invest in practicing it and serving people, the better, obviously, it's going to become, the better the problem and the better the issue, the better you're going to be getting at the result, and then you move quickly to mastery. You don't become a master by doing it once and then telling everybody you can do it. You become a master by doing it time and time again and getting a similar result for your clients and for your customers time and time again. You don't do it by just doing it once and then going, hey, I'm an expert, pay me money. That's not how it happened. It's a, uh, you'll get weeded out of the industry really, really fast. So you want to strive to become that. So once you fully understand your unique ability, one thing, really, man, invest in yourself, invest in that and growing it. So let's do a quick recap here. So number one is what we've talked about, the how to create irresistible offers. And when you go to natekennedy.com free, I've got some resources over there that will build upon this for you going forward. So with that, Number one, you got to stop helping everyone. You have to know who you can help. You want to be able to stop 
being the person that helps everybody and everything and inside of their business. It's the biggest mistake people make. You don't want to be the jack of all trades. And once you stop becoming the jack of all trades and you focus on your mastery, like I was just talking about there a second ago, you stop chasing a bunch of suspects who all want a special deal and service. And you start attracting prospects, people that actually want to work with you, people that actually want to hire you. And just remember that there is a myth that you are only one funnel away. I would like to think that we just busted that myth today. So so you fully understand it's not about being one funnel it's about one irresistible offer away all the other stuff's just technology and fancy funnel stuff keep in mind it's coming from a guy who who's been building sales funnels for over 10 years for people for myself and for other people so something to to keep in mind that that is part of our expertise is leveraging technology and marketing automation for your business and i'm telling you right now without the right offer none of that stuff matters then from there, don't forget, symptoms are greater than problems. So as you go ahead and focus on that, that's going to help you grow and talk to the right people and sound different and stand out from all the other competitors in your industry when you do that. And then the value bridge, right? We talked a little bit about the value bridge and how you're able to start charging premium prices because you are ultimately delivering that result that they want. So you're selling a specific result and you get paid based on the value of those results. So when you're real clear on the symptoms you're solving and the results they get, the more comfortable you become with really your true value at the same time too. And, and that's how you become that trusted authority. Everyone talks about becoming market authority and becoming an authority in the industry. You do that by delivering results and actually not being a jack of all trades. That's really how you become an authority and people start hiring you for specific things. So with that said, what we're going to do on the next podcast here, we're going to take all this information, creating an irresistible offer, defining your unique ability, creating an irresistible offer. And we're going to talk about how you have the ability from there to go in and leverage technology and automation. I told you that that's one thing that we specialize in. So let's go ahead and, and, and break down how the right time to use sales funnel automation and systems and technology inside of your business. So we'll go ahead and, and break that down and, and drive that to you. So with that said, thank you so much for joining me on this first Get Optimized podcast. We wanted to talk about the one thing that is most important for building a successful business, and that's creating irresistible offers. Understand unique ability so you can have an irresistible offer to help people. With that said, thanks so much. We do have a bunch of resources for you over at natekennedy.com forward slash free, which will help you through creating an irresistible offer, understanding unique ability and all over there. So go grab that now and tune back in for episode number two, where we start to breaking down marketing automation and sales funnel you know systems to help you actually reach more people with your offer talk soon this is the podcastfactory.com